Ariel says, I have a customer that were migrating Microsoft tenants because currently they have exchange online through a marketing company that is hosting all of their content or their customers in the same tenant. As such, I know I'm going to have to do uh, PST exports to move the mail. I'm not worried about that. I'm mostly concerned about how I'm going to reroute mail through the correct Microsoft tenant. Is it as simple as adding and verifying the domain in the new tenant and ensuring DNS records are correct? DNS hosting will remain network solutions. I'm just trying to avoid potential mail routing issues. That's it for the most part. <clears throat> uh, DNS, uh, DMARC, DKIM, and SPF. If you get those all set up correctly for the new domain, there shouldn't be any issues. Yeah, I always say that the, um, I mean, going back to like the early days of MMS, then BPOS, and then was rebranded as Office 365. And when customers were being onboarded, that, you know, Exchange is like the oldest and most mature of the, you know, the pillars of what is, you know, now Microsoft 365. Uh, so there's just a lot of experience there. Um, you know, uh, there's still a lot of, uh, people that are in engineering and on the product team that have been involved in exchange for 25 plus years. So they just have a lot of knowledge, a lot of history there, and it works pretty smoothly. Um, but well, yeah, that and that the whole point is when you put in the new DNS records, it's, it's going to prompt you for the other ones as, as well anyway. Hey, you need a DKIM, you need a DMARC, you need an SPF. Here's how to go about doing that. At least that's my recollections from having set it up. And I'm a web design, I, I wouldn't say novice. I'm, I've done my own and I was able to do this for my tenant and for my son's business tenant. And there's really good um, guidance out there. I put a link in the spreadsheet for that. And if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> so as long as you have a little bit of web understanding, I think just being able to know where your content is, who your host is, which is network solutions. You have to go in and add those records. Um, and then so it's whoever's managing your host and also your tenant, right? I'd say the other thing I learned is um, DNS gets cached. So if anything with the DNS changes, even though it's still with network solutions, you want to find out how long the information might be cached for. So you're not trying to troubleshoot something that's cached for an hour or 24 hours, for instance, and thinking something didn't work if it's just cached records that need to be flushed and updated. Good point. Well, one thing I would say, I mean, again, not, not having worked with network solutions in, for a long time, um, but uh, every vendor that I, so I just did a migration and moved my site and uh, to a new hoster is that the, the these companies, their, do, their documentation, their knowledge bases are fairly robust. And so again, this is a fairly standard uh, activity. And so I'm sure that they have the walkthroughs of all of this in detail to make sure that it's done right. So I would go there and of course out to YouTube because YouTube has videos on everything in your life. So, yeah, I just fixed something on my car this last weekend <laughs> um, from a YouTube video. And I had it on my phone, was pausing it while I was doing the next step, at, and it worked out great. Haven't blown up yet. Every time I need to change batteries and the key fobs, which I couldn't figure out why they go dead so quickly, and it's because they've got all this proximity stuff in them now. So they're always wow. being pinged, yeah. you know, so any of the cars where I don't have to put the key in the ignition, the batteries seem to last like maybe a year. And then, you know, you go to YouTube, here's my key fob. They show you how to open it, what battery you need. <laughs> I would agree. <laughs> <laughs> super, super helpful. <laughs> yep. See, I learned something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you, Christy. That's why I love these, because I'm like, ooh, teach me stuff, because I like it. <laughs> now, you weren't thinking it would be being taught something about your car, but, you know, still. <laughs> oh, you know, with, with my Mustang, I well, go good. through them all the time. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Thank you.
And uh, well, so in the next one, we're going to go through and we're going to talk about groups and exchange and neutering a cat. So it's all good. <laughs> Why not? My cat's already, my cat's already done. No, they, they, them are having a great time. It's okay. <laughs> They're having too good of a time. That's why we're neutering it, Kirsty. 